There's one bright side to all this, at least it's not that abomination. Time before many can remember, our planet faced its greatest challenge. A warlord named Piccolo came from beyond the stars, bringing darkness and chaos to our once peaceful world. In the beginning, we get some backstory about some old people imprisoning Piccolo with his partner in crime. Wait. Aided by his disciple Ozaru. Ozaru? Is this gonna stay true to any of the source material at all? The evil pair brought the human race to the brink of annihilation. Figures. <laughs> Fucking figures. <laughs> Cities and countries crumbled beneath them. Countless lives were lost. But finally, a group of brave warriors created the Mafuba, a powerful enchantment that imprisoned Piccolo deep within the earth. With his master captured, Ozaru disappeared, and balance was slowly restored to our world. Oh my fucking god, they spoiled the Goku Zuzuru. Look at what the fuck he's wearing! Ozaru disappeared. Ozaru disappeared. Ozaru disappeared. The first couple of seconds in the movie! Mm. They already... already fucked it off. I can't... I, I can't... I, I can't! And balance was slowly restored to our world. And so it has remained for thousands of years. So they disappeared for 1,000 years. Are you gonna tell us how... Piccolo escaped? Of course not! Mm -hmm. Of course not! Uh, Goku. Happy birthday. Wait, if, if Goku's 18, what happened to the other 982 years that happened before he was 18? Cause remember, Uluru was fucking Goku, so if he was gone for th a thousand years, that 982 just out the fucking window. So Goku goes to high school now, and Just fuck it. Right in its Ozero ass. Just fuck it. 
They're the worst bullies ever. Of course they run people over. They say shit like, Agundas, did you just fart, man? Because I could have swore I just heard something. And make me pay Geeko. Yeah, nice one, dick. Beauty awaits me. What's up, Amy? Hey look, you can tell it's Goku because he wears the blue and orange jacket. I can't tell if it's fan service or just Never mind, I Where was I? It's, uh... Who the fuck is this? She was never in the original show. Was she? Oh, it's supposed to be that girl. Okay. Uh, from, from Dragon Ball. Okay, um... I don't think they mentioned her name once. And if they did, I didn't fucking notice. And if they did, it went so fucking fast. And if they did... Apparently she's not that important to say it twice, maybe three times. Why is she even here? Anyways, who cares? Let, let, let's see let's see how Goku's doing uh, in school. Learning about the this is an astrological phenomenon known as a complete solar eclipse. Solar eclipse? Aren't these guys fucking seniors? They never say, but I'm assuming since Goku is 18 that he's a senior, at the very least a fucking junior. I mean, don't we learn this shit in fucking middle school? 7th or 8th fucking grade? The fuck are you... Block convenience because it's fucking foreshadowing. This is fucking foreshadowing. This is what the fuck it's for. <laughs> Jesus. No wonder the bullies and people here are so fucking stupid. I play in the school system. Seriously though, if I harp on every fucking thing wrong with this movie. I'm gonna be in a fucking casket six feet fucking under! Wait, you know about Key? Just because my name is Chi Chi doesn't make me a complete idiot. Right, because right, there's a lot of stupider names than Chi Chi. So people named Chi Chi are normally stupid. The only thing I can get out of that is because Chi Chi is like another word for, you know, Chi Chi's. Um, so people with Chi Chi's are fucking stupid. And if I don't fucking don't want the big out of this. I'm not saying that Chi Chi's a stupid name. I'm just saying that it's not normal. Uh, but n normal's overrated. I'm not saying that you're stupid or overrated. I'm just, I'm gonna stop now. Hey, I'm having a party tonight at my house. I'll be there. Goku, happy birthday! <laughs> Goku? So you get invited to a party and you decide that it's a good idea to take the Dragon Ball. Why? Maybe he thinks it'll bring him good luck. What are you doing here, Geeko? Uh, I'm just going to the party. But... I was invited. I'm not looking for any trouble. Trouble found you, freak. I made a promise that I'm not going to fight. Oh. Don't worry, it won't be a fight. It'll be a massacre. 
Seriously, these bullies have insults even a five-year-old would face palm themselves for. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Missed again. <laughs> <laughs> They're so dead. No, Kai, stop! Oh, my car! Nice swing, good form. Hey, Fuller! You got a couple of dings there you might want to try buffing out. But my grandpa said everything will be explained to me when I turn 18. And I'm 18. I'm old enough to fuck! Come on, you know that's what he's thinking. Piccolo. It's not here. <laughs> I will have the Dragon Ball, old man. What, so Piccolo can sense the Dragon Balls or something? And if so, why didn't he sense that the Dragon Ball was missing? Or, you know, with fucking Goku at a fucking populated party? I have such a fucking headache! Grandpa! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry Grandpa wasn't here. What happened? Piccolo has returned. He's after the Dragon Ball. You must find the Dragon Balls before the Eclipse. What? Seven Dragon Balls must be found. For all men's fate will be bound. All right, Grandpa, stop, stop. You have to rest. You have to rest. Who? Who? Remember, always have faith in who you are. Goodbye, Grandpa Gohan. This will be the last time we even give a shit about you. Sorry. What was your name again? I'm not kidding. As soon as the guy is buried, Goku just brushes him off. When someone brings him up, Goku just sighs and changes the fucking subject without a care in the world. What the fuck? The guy who raised you says, Mwah. What are you doing on Saturday? So Bulma shows up. Are you Piccolo? Did you kill my grandfather? Listen, idiot. If I was a Piccolo, whatever that is, I wouldn't tell you. And if I did kill your grandfather, I would have shot you by now. Somebody stole my Prometheum orb, and I'm here to get it back. What? You have it. <laughs> nice move. But I'm not gonna miss again. My father found that Prometheum Orb 20 years ago and you stole it from me last night. I'm not leaving here without it. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a Dragon Ball. Sushinchu, four-star ball. I promised my grandfather I would keep it safe, so I'm not letting anyone take it from me. Four stars. Prometheum Orb has five stars. Who's the idiot? Look at it. Oh my god. I could have killed you. Oh, you weren't even close. I knew it. There are others. No, this is this this is far beyond me. I just... Far beyond. That dialogue is too stupid to even comment about. Last night a thief broke into my father's company, the Capsule Corporation. Somebody hacked the vault, killed the guards, and stole the Dragon Ball.
I swore to my father I'd get it back. So you saw the thief, yet you thought Goku was the thief and the murderer. You're either fucking blind or stupid, and I'm willing to consider both. How'd you know I had the Dragon Ball? A little machine I invented. This can detect and locate the signature wavelengths emitted by the Dragon Balls. See? Well, you made a Dragon Ball energy locator? Cool. Dragon Ball Energy. DBE. Catchy name. Oh, come on, bitch. That wasn't even slick. That was just shameful. There's another Dragon Ball here. Let's go. So they hit the road to find the first Dragon Ball, and, um... Bulma! Bulma! Bulma, wait! Yeah, it looks familiar! Chosen few were taught to master the energy of the three elements, air, fire, and water. Shadow Crane Strike is the most basic of all the air bending techniques. Oh god, it's back! Oh god, it's back! Kill me! Balls apparently show a vision to the wilder now. Do I dare even question it? I heard about your grandfather's accident. I'm so sorry. The house collapsed? Uh, yeah, something like that. Hey, what was it that you wanted to tell me? Yeah, my grandpa's dead, but fuck him. How are you doing, Tatas? I mean, Chi Chi, I mean. Hey! <laughs> At least this won't be a total waste. I got a signal from a Dragon Ball. Let's go. I'm getting a strong signal from a Dragon Ball only three miles ahead. Obvious green screen is obvious. Sorry. What happened? That hole came out of nowhere. Whoa. Need any help down there? Oh no, please, just no! Hey, Dio. Not now! What the hell is wrong with it? Oh, yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> Yamcha. At your service. I'm gonna need some payment. Payment? Who do you think made this trap? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that a Capsule RX 550 Roadster I see down there? Yo, I'll take that. Just what we needed! A fucking douchebag to trap all of our heroes in a hole! Actually, I can't wish for better. 2,000 years ago, the Earth was nearly destroyed. Not by men, but by gods from the sky. Their names were Piccolo and Osaru. 
And I guess their time isn't important enough to just get the fuck out of there. I mean, considering they only have a week to find the Dragon Balls before the Solar Eclipse comes. Seven Mystics expanded together to fight the invaders. Oh, I guess giving us a bullshit backstory is more important. They sacrificed their lives to cast the Marfu Ba, a powerful curse that imprisoned Piccolo. Well, while we're at it, are you gonna tell us how Piccolo escaped? Piccolo has somehow escaped. Of course not. Just, of course not. Just kill off a little bit of benefit of doubt that I had. Who the fuck needs it? Dragon Ball's close. But I think it's buried underground. <laughs> <laughs> Enough games. Oh, wait a fucking second. You were able to get the fuck out of there anytime you wanted. You're a time waster and an asshole. Your blood will give it life. Dragon Balls are within my grasp, and with them, the power to destroy this world. So these things, they're never given a name, so fuck it, decided to fight our heroes by molten lava. Gee, I wonder how they'll defeat them. Into the lava! That's the only way to stop them! Yeah! <laughs> No way, I didn't see that come, mister. No way. No, no, how. What are you doing? Making a bridge! Damn, Goku's fucking gruesome! I love how it takes forever for those, you know, cut up bodies to totally melt in the lava. At least until they go and fetch the Dragon Ball, then get back to the other side perfectly safe. Must have had some good sunblock. See Chi-Chi at her fighting tournament. Why the fuck is she there? Now I know it's for her to trick everybody later, but when and how, in the name of the Lord, did she ever find out that Chi-Chi had anything to do with Goku? My brain. My fucking brain. I've got a confession to make. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to be rich. <laughs> well, neither of us are gonna get what we wanted. Oh god, now we get a scene with these two alone? Look at these people. They have no idea. Yeah. I wish I didn't know myself. Never thought I could enjoy talking to a thief. <laughs> you know... I'm not so bad once you get to know me. Maybe I like bad men. It's good to know on the day before the end of the world. Oh, come on. You literally had no time together to develop any kind of relationship. For fuck's sake, you had more time with Goku and you're falling for this son of a bitch? You know what? You deserve each other, you dumb bitch. someone to turn into them, you know, also gives you their fashion sense. Where the fuck did you get the clothes? 
same fucking clothes when you go to the gap? He's alive, but barely. So am I. Imagine being shackled so tightly that every atom in your body stood compacted, still. That was my hell. I suppose you're gonna tell us how you got out of that prison. With this Dragon Ball, I take my vengeance upon the Earth. Of course not! Of course not! This is the prayer! to have you join me. You will bear witness to my glory when I compel Shen Long to grant me the power to rule this diseased rock. I will defeat Ozaru, and I'm here to destroy you. <laughs> defeat Ozaru? When the blood moon eclipses the sun, you will become Ozaru. What a twist! Get the fuck out of here! Goku's time is over. <sighs> You travel by meteor to hide amongst the vermin until your 18th birthday. This is where you landed, and where you will be reborn. You serve me. Ozaru, they have a Dragon Ball. Bring it to me. And it looks like Roshi is making Piccolo dance like a ballerina. What? What? Go. footage that they used 
for Goku turning into the Uzuru, but just reversed it. I just don't know what to say. Dragon Ball is mine. Goodbye, what's your face? I must have faith in who I am. Human power has failed before. Oh, snap. Kame! As it will. Here it comes. Shenlong, one wish will be granted. Dragon! The test of seven has been fulfilled! I compel you to come forth and grant my wish! Life to Mutin Roshi. Raised you. Who was that guy again? I was happy. Then your grandfather Gohan came up to me and kicked me out. Said there was a lot you still needed to learn. He's right. I'm sorry, Master Roshi. We just weren't ready to have you leave us. I know. I know. That's sweet, ladies, but notice we're missing something here. The Dragon Balls are gone. We have to find them again. You ready? I just have to do one thing. So, sorry that I hurt you. I would never do that on purpose. It was just, I was in the heat of battle and I, I thought you were someone else. It's all right. I let you hit me. I was just too fast. You're fast, but I let you hit me. Well, it was dark and confusing. I wasn't holding back. Okay. If our relationship is going to go anywhere, we're going to have to settle this. Convincing shit on YouTube! 
And even if I wasn't a fan of the show, this is just a standalone bullshit terrible movie. It had no heart and did not give a shit about anything it was going for. Everything in this movie is awful. Do not fucking watch it. Don't look at it. In fact, forget about it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna smash what's left of my fucking head against the wall. And I hope, for my sake, I go into a coma. In case I fail to do so. Let me know what you would like me to see next and I'll view, then review it. See you guys next time when I wake the fuck up. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm tired of all these bad movies, man. I need something good or my friends got to ride. Well, you might like this. What is it? You'll see. You love getting bad Well, thank you, man. My life depends on this. Sir?